Recently, while ministering in Nigeria, we ran across a place that reminded me of Jesus' description of hell. The sights and smells were so vivid, we had to stop at this Nigerian garbage dump, where I did a brief devotional study on hell. Well, I am coming to you from Nigeria, and we've been passing this place every time we've been doing a meeting. So for about a week, we've been passing this area. And of course, it's a garbage dump. It smells, it stinks, it's not very pretty. And one interesting thing to me, and I've seen it night and day, is that there's always fire going on. They're constantly burning garbage and I've come to think of it as the everlasting burnings. Well, that reminded me of Jesus speaking about a place called Gehenna, which is translated in the Bible, hell. And he talked about this terrible place where there is everlasting fire, and he was very, very straightforward about it. He said, it is such a horrible place, you don't want to be there. And he said, it's a place where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched and in fact he said whatever you have to do to avoid this place you should do it even if it means cutting off your hand or plucking out your eye now there literally was a garbage dump outside of jerusalem called gehenna so jesus was using this well-known garbage dump where they did exactly this they burned garbage and there was fire continually and so it was exactly like this situation, and he used that as an illustration of hell, the lake of fire. It's called by different names. In the Bible, it's usually translated hell, but also you could call it Gehenna. It's called Gehenna. It's called the lake of fire. It's called the outer darkness, and it's called the everlasting destruction. However you say it, it's not a pretty place, and it's not a place anybody would want to be. And Jesus warned us very strictly to avoid this at all costs. <laughs> now, that may sound like a kind of a, a negative Bible study and kind of gloomy, but there is some good news. And the good news is this. God doesn't want you here. Hell, the lake of fire, is, is really a cosmic garbage dump for the souls and the bodies of those who are not reconciled to God. And God doesn't want you here. That's the good news. The Bible says he's not willing that any should perish. And the Bible says he, he would have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And so that's why God sent Jesus Christ was to give you an alternative. You don't have to go to Gehenna, to the everlasting fire, to the place where the fire never goes out and the worm never dies. You can go instead to heaven the presence of Jesus Christ, the presence of God the Father, where it doesn't stink like it does here, and where it's beautiful, unlike here, and where there is joy and peace and righteousness forever and ever and ever. So, if it wasn't for Jesus, this would be our destination. This would be where we'd all end up, a place of everlasting burning, a cosmic garbage dump. But instead, the Bible tells us God so loved the world, He gave His Son, Jesus Christ, that whoever would believe in Him should not perish, should not perish in the everlasting fires, but should have eternal life. From the website gotquestions.org, we read this about the biblical Gehenna, which Jesus used as a symbolic representation of hell. He writes, the Gehenna Valley was a place of burning sewage, burning flesh, and garbage. Maggots and worms crawled through the waste, and the smoke smelled strong and sickening. It was a place utterly filthy, disgusting, and repulsive to the nose and eyes. Gehenna presented such a vivid image that Christ used it as a symbolic depiction of hell, where the fires never ceased burning, and the worms never stopped crawling. Many of the words which are translated hell in the Gospels, particularly from the words of our Lord Jesus, are literally the word Gehenna, which was a place all of his Jewish listeners would immediately recognize. And it wasn't so much different as the place where I did this little Bible study in Nigeria. 
May our Lord Jesus make us appreciative of the lengths to which he went to keep us out of the true Gehenna.